Welcome back to Robot Time. Hello. And this will be HK's first time experiencing an actual, like, good protagonist. <clears throat> so, but you already missed some of the development. I know, but... Oh, well. No. Well, you see, um, like, the little bit I did play, I did play as the male protagonist. Good. So. You get to see Grant Eat, at least. Yeah, you get to see him. And it's another scene cutscene, so we don't care. We. <sighs> Hi, Wise. Hello. But HK, since you weren't here, I'm just gonna explain it to you now. I'm gonna be mostly skipping through the story unless Toy is involved. So... All right, cool. So, like right here, for example. Hmm. <clears throat> Oh my god, JC a pod! They take so much time because they're supposed to establish the characters as individuals. And plus, this is early in the game, so. You know, they have to set everything up. Mm. Later on Let's... in the game, they just go. They go <coughs> Here, it kind of matters because it's Toya. Mm. Yeah, no one cares about Lacus. Lacus is like the fourth worst character in Shape. And she leads to the worst fucking cutscene in the game. Which one's that? You know, the one where they throw down arms to leave to, uh, you know, go, yeah, let's trust the enemies not to gun us down the moment we hand over the princess. You know, the blatantly evil people that we can't trust. Good idea. Good idea. Oh. Yeah, I agree. It's a fantastic idea. It'll kill everyone in seed. No, they were gonna kill Koji, uh, protagonist, because they always get roped into uh, it. Lies, you would be fucking wrong. These text cutscenes take, like, nothing to do. Yeah, text is easy. Most of the memory in these games are taken up by animations. Yeah, and even then, um... Like, if they animated everything like you would consider, like, a typical sprite animation, there'd be no possible way for them to do it. Um, everything is basically put together in pieces. It's very intelligently done. Indeed. Saves a lot of memory. <clears throat> yep. And this isn't the first time, it's definitely not the first time any kind of robo games do that. Um, for example, Endless Duel, Gundam Wing Endless Duel, does the same thing. So and that game has Endless beautiful Duel. animation. What? You need to play Endless Duel. Okay. Yeah. I started playing it a little bit, just kind of doing it, um, mostly for the sake of just like relearning how the game works. The AI in that game hates you. I can imagine. <clears throat> but there's some nasty things that certain. Uh, well, let's see. Um, Death Scythe has a pretty simple to execute infinite combo, but if you're on the lookout for it, you can not get it by fairly easy. Um, Shenlong can stall really easily because he has a glitch with his Dragon Claw. Um, he can't really stall for that long. I think he can, like, um, I can't remember exactly how long he can do it every time he's able to do it with a full super bar, but it helps him dodge uh, a few supers, actually. Plus he has combos. Um, Epion's really good. Actually, funniest thing is, um, speaking of Epion, you want to know who the best, uh, the best Gundam in the game is? Wing Zero. <laughs> no. Really? I think some people, I think it's actually considered that Wing Zero is worse than Wing. Um, I can't remember what the tier list is, the most up-to-date one. I can hop on Game Facts really quick. Wow, so, no one on the desk uh, has Excel yet. Nope. Fucking serious. Fantastic. Uh, like, wait, you said Nadesco, right? No, on Archangel, if I said Nadesco, sorry. But oh, no, fuck that. <clears throat> shit. Nobody has... Oh, wait, no, told us. Okay, I'm fine. Very good. My yeah. statement stands. It, it does. Not denying that. <laughs> I still wish Halme was a sick so that was kind of this. I like her. 
Your favorite Gundam series? That's fucking everybody's favorite, Flies. Fucking everyone. Everyone who doesn't say C, anyway. Or Wing. Wing? Well, Wing's in like fifth place. Well, yeah, what I mean is there's a fair amount of- there actually is a fair amount of people, especially, um, like in the U.S. that would say Wing is their favorite. Especially in the U.S. Um, I can see people saying Zeta Gundam simply because of punching. Zeta Gundam <clears throat> has, uh, a lot of fans, too. It's not that I didn't like 8th MS Team, it's just really overrated. It was- it was good, don't get me wrong, but just not nearly as good as the hype. <clears throat> Hmm. Anyway, alright, I have two tier lists. Um, one is probably the most up-to-date one. Um, or at the very least, it's... Okay, actually, there's three. I'm so... surprised there's still people playing it. Um, not as much, but it's still pretty good. Um, I can't remember what one of the uh, other tier lists is. Uh, oh wait, let me right here. <clears throat> it's fine, Wise. I'm not saying it's bad that you liked it, dude. It's terrible that you liked it. Why don't you now, stop? Now, granted, if you said that you liked Gundam Seed Destiny the best, I would have to go over there and slap you, but, you know. <laughs> okay, a real person wouldn't, so. Ha ha ha. Find this thread that oh, why is things people like seed? Well, they do. They're not real people. <laughs> I don't know about that. Nadia likes seed. No, she doesn't. She's fucking with you. Okay. People are allowed to like seed. We can no, they're laugh. not. We can just laugh at them for it. They're not people. <laughs> just laugh. Yeah, but speaking of things that aren't seed, okay. Here are the tier lists that I see, um, or at least uh, some of these. The I was able to find three before. Um, one was older, one was newer, and then one is the newest in um, the GameFAQ forum guide known as Gundam Wing Endless Dual Thread Reloaded. Um, okay, so the first one I found is a more detailed tier list. Um, this is from the Japanese scene, and it was posted uh, September 14th, uh, 2013. So, here's the tier list. And this is in order. S tier, Shenlong, oh my. and Epneon. Um, then a Mercurius... Wing Zero and Tall Geese. B tier is um, Wing, Death Scythe. Yes, even with his infinite and heavy arms. And then C tier is Sandrock and Bayate. Poor Sandrock. Uh. Sandrock is still pretty good, though. Um, I think he actually takes less damage than everyone else, too. Well, he was the tank. Yeah. And he has command grabs. Here for but, cancer is Tall Geese. I'm glad someone still remembers that joke. For those of you who don't get the joke, there's a there's a scene in Gundam Wing where Zach's piloting the Tall Geese fight against the squadron, right? The final enemy he fights is a crab robot called a cancer bot. Yes. He literally lifts it over his head and shouts, FOOLS! and then rips it in half. Fucking I love awesome. it. Yeah. Ooh, wait, that's how cancer spreads. No, no. He does it underwater too. Yeah, he does. Awesome. Well, it divides and multiplies, so. But yeah, it's like shit like that, which is why Zex is my second favorite character. Like... Zex is awesome. Yeah. And that fantastic hair. Indeed. I bet Ryo has hair like that. You'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> if he doesn't, part of him probably wants that kind of fantastic hair. Probably. 
But yeah, um... Oh yeah, so totally, I should do it. Anyway, continue. Yeah. So, this is an older tier list, um, but it's generally seen, like, if you want to be real about, like, tier lists and not be, like, really, um, I guess been maxi is the best way to put it. This is a good way to look at the game. Granted, the meta has evolved since then. This was posted um, Christmas Day, 2007. Um, and again, the meta has evolved since then, but this is still pretty solid if you just want to play the game. Yeah. Top tier, in order, again, Shenlong, then Epion. Shenlong, just wrecking face. Mid tier, everyone else. Other than Shen and Epion, everyone else has a fair chance of beating each other. And as this guy puts, though I'm not a particularly not particularly a Tall Geese fan myself, Tall Geese has whooped my ass in the past. Yeah. Endless Duel is not really an easy game to play. It's an easy game to learn. Basically, um, or at least you know the mechanics of it, and super inputs aren't that hard and everything like that. But it does have a lot to it, like the super jump and uh, hovering, for example. Yeah. You can double super jump, and uh, your your second super jump, which is the aerial jump, really can go in multiple directions. You can hover, but if you hover, it uses up your second super jump. Um, you can use certain supers in the air. Actually, you can use every super in the air if you do a glitch. Um, but certain are, certain supers are naturally able to do it and are a bit more flexible in that regard. Um, there are a lot of varying supers. Like Sandrock's super is he basically um, starts firing with his like pistol-looking gun or something like that, and he gets a bunch of supporting fire. And it's a super that stays out forever and does eh, damage and eh, chip damage. But again, it stays out forever, so it does have uses. It's not amazing, but this uses. Yeah. Um, Wing and Wing Zero both have two supers, although the bird super sucks for doing anything but dodging. <laughs> Ouch. But it's really good at dodging other supers, so... For, in for example, I'm pretty sure Sandrock super, um... If he inputs it and the Wing Zero player immediately initiates bird mode super, then he'll dodge all of it and probably hit Sandrock in the process. Damn. Although Sandrock does have um, piercing projectiles, they go through everything, which is very useful. Just all sorts of things like that. It is a really good, um, it is actually a really good fighter. The only, like, notable problem with it is just that, again, Death Scythe has an infinite that's really easy to pull off when you land it. Um, but at the same time, no one who knows what they're doing is going to get hit by it, because it's very obvious when they're doing it. Like, you, you will know when someone's trying to go for that infinite. Plus, I mean, if they actually were to do, like, turning segments, um, or, you know, they would do tournaments for the game somehow. Um, they could easily just be, like, you know, repetition limit. Because plant themes. Yeah, basically. Oh, I can't. Well, you can fucking kill Miguel. Probably. So okay, let's show off Grantide and all his wonder. Here you go. Grantide is pretty fantastic. Wow, Toya, yo. Oh, I, what the fuck? It was an 82% chance. Where Wait, were you aiming? He was just aiming the DS way. 
also not. Exactly. Oh, Jesus! Oh, wow. You need more upgrades. Miguel got fucking buff all of a sudden. Shit, man. Try this again. No cover. Here. That's. Cool. What? Did you want Aki to cover? Actually, with the barrier and the blue orbs, average she defense. She would not be able to take that hit because she doesn't have many upgrades. Bad half damage. Yeah. No. Oh yeah, Starman's back. He yeah. says the struggle of Jay. Yeah, I saw. Like that. Okay. Fine, I'll let her. Just waiting for that miss. Yeah, we'll see. Oh hey, I got a counter. I guess. Please kill it. Please kill it. That's Completely fine. gonna miss. Oh, bullshit. That should have killed. Should have crit. See? See? That's because it's a lower ass front. It ain't that big a damage difference. Right, I'm gonna have to start this defending. I don't even know if I can help him out of this alive. Oh, hey! They gun for Kira, so... It's because Zack is a moron. Oh fuck, I'm done. Wee. Yep, there went Toya. I gotta start over. Nope, he's fine! No, Toya died! Show me the map, that's usually an instant game over. Why would it be an instant game over on this map? It's a seed map. It's fucking Toya. So? See, Toya's dead! Well. Do you see him? Yeah. So... Gotta redo it. Way to go. Way to go! Ryo, I swear to god. Alright. We gotta do this shit again. Alright. This time, however, I'll be a bit more methodical in my approach. Only a bit more. So you're going to scream louder? Probably could have made a later save state. Gee, thank you, Wise. I never thought of that. Well, you didn't. Twitch does have problems. Kind of funny that it's like Epion is designed as a boss character to be stronger than other things, and also um, just in general a better character. He has insane knockdown combos, apparently. 
Um, but Shenlong is still stronger. Shenlong is insane. Right? Shenlong still says shit. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, there's apparently a Mercurius Infinite as well. Um, and the tier, tier lists don't count for Infinites because they're cheesy, even if Death Scythe is easy to predict and easy easy to use, easy to predict. I think Mercurius is, is hard to predict and hard to use, but either way. So you'll probably get a kick out of this. Um, if you play as the Epion when Tall Geese is out, um, Hero pilots the Epion. That's pretty cool. Yep. Makes sense. Yep. And if you, I I, I can't remember. There's like there's some sort of. Um, There's some sort of like hierarchy to it. I think there's a way to. No, I think that's just it. I could have sworn there was something else. But... Alright, let's try this again. Let's try this again. Here, HK. Working. Let's do it. Yes, Toya, you really should. Huh, that's it. It's really hard, but I expected more out of that deck. In terms, of, in terms of animations. In the normal one, it's three stabs followed by one that impales the cockpit. Nice. Why'd you have to spoil it? I was gonna show it. He still has to visualize it. It's not gonna be the same. Yeah, it won't be the same until I see it. I mean, you could you could describe friggin' um, well, a lot of attacks. Shining well, Finger something. is an attack where you gather energy until your palm which causes it to radiate blue and then you smack it. See, you've proved my point. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That's what you do! That is what you do, but it is far more spectacular in motion. Far more spectacular. And you know that's true. It is truly a fantastic move. What is your avatar, by the way? Mine? Yeah. Hell dressed as a squirrel. Huh, why? Why not? Okay. Oh, uh, guy blew up. What a rotten way to die. Anyone else? Anyone else? Of course, that works. Combatler, are you taking oh, your turn? Oh, son of a bitch. Combatler, have you taken your turn yet? No. Good. <laughs> Get out. Uh, uh, poor Combatler. This is the first time we've seen an enemy map attack this early in the game. Anyway, Koji's probably all dead. Oh, hey, he missed, dude. Okay. Fantastic. I'm actually surprised at that. That is. Let's see the crotch missile. You know you want it. Big balls! Yeah, basically. I have big balls. The 
I cannot lie. Fantastic. Fantastic. Huh. Now shoot you down, Strike! No. Yeah, basically. Kinda went now. Nah. Can you just stop? Just no. Just not. That's all I do. Just take how I do. Um, unbelievable. It just doesn't want to listen to you. They all want to keep attacking you, and they know they're going to lose, um, but they don't want to keep attacking Alright, Battleship War. Go. Did they sink it? No. We'll okay. find out. It's the Archangel that knows the sink ship. What if the Archangel is sunk? Well, then I lose. Yes. It's fine, you can just detach your engines to simulate the explosion of death. <laughs> this isn't Sea Destiny. I know. It, but that doesn't mean it doesn't happen eventually. God, that episode sucked. All of Sea Destiny sucked. But that was one of the worst episodes. Seriously? Yeah. It's not even cute. There we go. Oh, almost. That sucks. That really sucks. Dang. It could be worse. range attack is all about bits. He's not wrong. No, he's not. Because, I mean, bits are all range. They really are. Indeed. Your Mac has bits. It does. I don't know if you know this, but did you know that the um, bouncer class in PSO2 basically has bits? Roughly, yes. It's pretty great. And they have rocket troops. They sure do. And they're fantastic. But do they carry a copy of the bouncer? Um, they might, but it's not like you have enough time to view it. One day. Also, it, it's worth noting that apparently, um... I told you about this before, but Sega, there was, you know, the trick that gunners could do with a certain thing that isn't supposed to stack and, you know, nuclear explosions, pretty much, right? Yes. And they said they were going to be banning people who, you know, farm bosses using that because it's unintended, and they already acknowledged the fact that it was a glitch two weeks ago, they just didn't fix it for some reason yet. Well, apparently, rather than, like, if, if they see, like, an anomaly in terms of clear time, Rather than investigate and see if someone was using that trick, they just ban everyone in the party outright. So if you do it too quick, they just assume, well, there's no way. Yeah, even though people have already found multiple ways to pretty much clear it almost as fast. For example, an entire party filled with um, uh, ranger bravers or braver rangers using banish arrow and weak bullet normally. Um, gunners actually, like, basically a party of gunners using chain trigger and satellite aim normally, you know, stuff that's perfectly fine, 
Um, a party of 11 forces and one ranger with weak bullet. Mostly Japanese players being banned, too. So you can't really say, oh, you know, they're just targeting the U.S. Or, or even one person tried to claim... Uh, they're like, oh, you guys, you have no right... There's someone on PSO World, so, you know, there's always idiots there. And everyone hopped on this guy and told him he was a moron. Like, you don't have a right to complain, you're not even supposed to be able to play the game, and plus they told you about this exploit, and you're still doing it, so you deserve to get banned. And it's like, um, most, if not all, the people that have been banned weren't doing it. Why do you think 2chan is flipping tables? But you don't understand. Thank you, Sega Overlords. Well, speaking of Overlords, here's the full finger crush animation. Yeah, I'm waiting for this. Let's do it. Yes. I... I have to do this. Finger Crusher. So why is this the full animation? Fantastic. How'd he barely live? That's just... You missed his vital organs. Barely. All Need of more them. upgrades. <laughs> I like how he's like, a hit? Was that a hit? Oh, oh shit. You. Yeah, let's not, let's not run with that. Starman's got a point. Stunning hello action. I know. That's like, that's how you get the first face machine. You're weird. How am I the weird one? Battler. Maybe one day he'll come Battler. Tina's just like, uh. That is the appropriate reaction. Let's 
see if it works. You won't touch me! Yeah. I would laugh if, if friggin... Well, unfortunately, Sayak is not really good enough to do this. But if she friggin' just grabs the missile and just throws it back, it's like, oh. Just, like, not even, like, intensely or with anything. It just really casually just grabs it and just tosses it back. Just like, you stop. Well, as you acknowledged, Sayaka. Sheena is normally yeah. She's Russian, actually. Oh, my mistake. Yeah, it is. I thought she was from Alaska. <laughs> oh, she can just see it from her backyard. No, she moved there. You told me she was an Alaskan bulwark. <laughs> an Alaskan bulwark! Oh. Well, you should never trust DS, come on. It's big, scary, and pink. <laughs> yeah. Is Big Magnum? You see, back in Texas, I wrangled the bulls and I wrangled the bird. Join them together for the same <laughs> Aw, oh, come on, uh, Moo. You can do better than that. Sheena, that's mean. You shouldn't say such things about Sheena. You see, this is why Sheena's a butt. What would Sheena say? She would say Moo. Well, I guess according to Sheena, yeah. <laughs> People are just blue sometimes. I know, right? What a shame. What a rotten, a rotten way to die. I like I It's not that kind of game. Where is it? No, it's actually not. Except Gul Landon. Yeah. But only him. So see? Oh god, no, don't do it. Do it. He's so much better when he's upgraded properly. I know. And you know, not in, uh, the bad version of the Lasner. Yeah, yeah. Finally, somebody that gets it. No, he's not. Yeah, he's, I, shut up, I've seen Mark II in action. Oh, man, there's the real boss. It's fantastic. Ah, uh, there he is. Also, something I've just read. I remember when in grade three, my teacher wrote Doodle on the board, and every and everyone started laughing. And then one of the innocent girls was just like, "Haha, Doodle means penis." <laughs> that doesn't. Uh, no, I'm not gonna max out Kira, Starman. That's just terrible. Like, why would anyone do that? Well, I don't know what game you're playing. That's just stupid what you said. Come on, 5% get hit. Hush. No. It's been so long. I got hit at a 2% chance for you last run. What the fuck else do you want? More. No. 0% chance. I'm waiting for it to just glitch up, that 1 in 65,000 chance. did max out D-Boy, so don't worry about it. So scary I do something to max. Just max out the Lambda Driver. So, so scary. No, the Lambda Driver. You don't even need a pilot at that point. So, so scary. The Lambda Driver. So it's not so scary because he can technically be put in Bone Tacoon. So max out Bone Tacoon. That's garbage. Maxing out Bone Tacoon special. 
No. Yep. No. Yep. No. Yep. No. Yep. No. Yep. No. It's happening. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Too much shit. Oh, it's happening. Why are you so garbage? Because I'm your garbage. Well, you see, if you max out Bontacoon, you can punch Turn A in the dick. So. Turn A's not here. I know, but you could still punch him in the dick. It wouldn't go very well, but you could still do it. Or maybe that's the one weak point. Not really, no. Well, you see, Bontacoon has never tried it. Ah, uh, that is true. Might have a very specific weakness. Oh my god, I can use it! <laughs> Holy crap, you can! This is a glorious moment. Turn Devil on. God, I never thought I would see the day when this was actually useful. That's still not. Those are just grunts. Hey, where's that a lot of them? We it's actually, only four. We actually hit things. That's actually, impressive. It's five. Oh, big whoop. Doll. Those two only uh, live because they were in meteor areas. That's bullshit. It's positional. Does anybody want one? You see, Ryan, I really? chuck a lot of that. I didn't, actually. The rest of you just stay over here. You I understand. was going to mention something about Livewire, but uh, yeah, that would be too easy. <laughs> you came home and realized nobody was sitting in your, you know, evil ass basement. story wasn't butchered. Like, at all. What the fuck? Not even a comparison. Completely ignoring the translation and localization effort. Well, that just makes it too easy. There's so many reasons to dislike it, though. Exactly. So it's, so more, fun to it's more fun to elaborate on one in particular and get everything you can out of that than just naming a whole bunch of things. You can name a whole bunch of things and people say, yeah, well, that's just one aspect. You could be like, oh, I can go on. 
Yeah, but he's like, what about that one thing? You know, the one thing that's, uh, like, the thing you like. Yeah, I know, I, I saw that, I'm just saying. Baiting? Exactly. Baiting a conversation is fun. Yeah. But I mean, what else are we gonna talk about? Kira being bad? Yeah, we could. This is true, we could. That's gonna be 70% of the seed stages. Yeah. I mean, every time we're doing a seed stage, we end up hating on siege anyway. Siege. Seed anyway. Seed. I can't even say it's name right because it's just that bad. Siege would be a lot better of a name. You Gundam see, the thing siege. is, when we're not hating on it, we're... When we're not hating on it, we're basically doing something else. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Then again, I mean, no duh. If we're not doing one thing, we must be doing something else. Clearly. No, I meant, uh, aside from the stream. Right. Yeah, very true. See, I got this brick over here. That, well, it wasn't dubbed, so that went off, but... No, I hate Hearts R for a lot of reasons. Script, character changes, battle system's still jank, it's broken as hell, etc, etc, etc. Yeah, it's pretty bad when you have a one art in <laughs> so... Oh dear lord. There's a one art infinite? Yep, the main character, Shing, he has a one art no, infinite. No, no. What? That's not his name anymore. No, no, oh, you're right. It's Core, core. now. My bad. Don't uh, worry, they made him an egotistical little shit, too, so he doesn't actually have anything in common with the cast. Good. Or a heart. Fantastic. But it's Tales of Hearts. We don't need a heart in the protagonist. Yeah. Oh my god, I don't know what kind of drugs they were on when they were writing that script. Special kind. I really hope the fan translation of the original comes back. I'm pretty sure with how much, like, everyone hates it, it's gonna happen. Yeah. No, they, they've been refusing to do it on principle. I think that's probably just, um... Because I, I know that a lot of people, like, they'll say that with games like this. There's definitely been translation efforts, but it be like, oh, well, there's an official one, so we don't want to do it anymore. But then they just come out with it later, and they're just like, we, we were just saying that so we didn't get CD'd. Oh, no, it, it was because they didn't want to potentially hurt the sales of Tales of Hearts R. They still say Shing because they still use the Japanese voices for God knows whatever reason, probably because they were out of money. But that doesn't probably. change the fact that in the localization they changed the name. Yeah, which is stupid. Yeah. You see, since they didn't actually dub it, most of the lines are completely off-tone anyway. Yep. Yep. Like, if there's a fairly large amount of the script that doesn't match what they're saying at all, not just in, like, tone, but in, like, actually what's being said. It's literally just, they won't know, they don't speak Japanese, and and they're talking to the Tales of fanbase, who has basically been recording game for this time now. If, if they can't speak it, they know someone who either can or can find someone. Everything gets around in the Tales of Community. Oh, oh but so. don't forget, this was one of the DS games that never got brought over. Wasn't, you know, redone for how many years after the fact? Like four? Something like that. Right. Fair amount. So, the moment it was announced, and this is in Japanese, mind you, everybody basically scrambled to pick up just what the fuck this was all about. Stunningly, it stuck. Yeah. Fantastic. Great, excellent, fantastic. Holy crap, we're taking hostages? Of course we are. Damn straight we are. Well, you see, the enemy does it all the time, therefore it's wrong for us to do it. Uh, fun fact for you, Starman, people are working on a English patch for ESP Rebirth, so look forward to that. Uh, when did that start? I feel like that's been um, being worked on for a little while, so it should it have... It started like half problems. a year ago. Oh, really? I thought it was uh, older than that. Um, there was a group a long time ago that wanted to do it, but they died. Oh, fun. They died hard. <laughs> so some new people... Cool. Right. Are you saying that what we did was right? That it's fine to use people as hostages when you're yes. about to get shot? Yes it is! Oh, fuck this section. Though on the plus side, those people you were talking about, 
it wasn't the group that died, it was the members that physically died. They're dead. It's a shame that uh, Wait, this really? is part of the game that makes me sad with Akatsuki. Really? Really what? <laughs> but, uh... No, the thing I was... Like, about the hostages, um... It's like, they could very easily do a thing where it's just like, No, Toya. It's wrong to take hostages, but you have to do what you have to do. Or, instead, Akatsuki's like, Nah, I'm just a gigantic prick. <laughs> yeah. This is what I do. It's who I am. Isn't that, like, the only plus Calvina has in her shitty route? No, the only plus she has in...